Kubernetes is a Greek word for pilot or the helmsman of the ship. It is also written as K8S. In this video, we will cover what is Kubernetes, why to use it and what it provides. In the end, we will also share details about our free Kubernetes masterclass, which will not only help you to understand basics, but it will also give you an idea of the learning path to follow. It would be helpful, especially when you're preparing for Kubernetes certification. That's Certified Kubernetes Administrator, CKA, or Certified Security Specialist, that's CKS. Welcome to another episode of Docker and Kubernetes video series from K21 Academy, where we take you from complete beginner covering microservices and Docker to all the way installing and covering Kubernetes cluster, including networking, storage, deployment, pods, and scaling your Kubernetes cluster using horizontal pod auto scaling, including how to prepare for the certification exam, CKA or CKS. We have taken a clip from one of our certification training program on Docker and Kubernetes for administrators. And in this clip, our instructor will give introduction about Kubernetes. So this is a clip taken from a module on Kubernetes components, architecture and installation. Let's hear from our instructor on the same. So what exactly is Kubernetes? Kubernetes is an open source container orchestration system. We saw that we were good with containers in Docker and Docker could help us spin containers, uh, manage the life cycle of container on a single host in a better way, spinning up different types of networks, spinning containers in those networks, managing the storage of the uh, uh, containers in that particular host. Everything was beautiful, right? It was beautifully managed by Docker. But when we think about inter-host communication, containers across hosts, at that point in time, we have to think of automation, we have to think about orchestration, managing life cycle, inter-host networking and all. And that is when the tools like this, which helps us to manage the complete set of containers working across nodes uh, comes into picture. So it's open source technology and it helps us automate the complete application deployment to scaling of application to management of application. It was originally designed by Google. The project was called this Bark and they have been using this uh, from day one. Google has been there in the market. Any tool of Google, you say product like Google Maps, Gmail, Drives, everything runs on containers. So they had mastered this technology and they had been using these technologies for years together. And when they saw that Docker is doing really good in the market, they contributed this to uh, open source community called as CNCF, which is Cloud Nating Computing Foundation and uh, called it as Kubernetes. But internally, this project is called as Borg in Google. So let's understand what exactly features we get when we are using Kubernetes, right? Why we got to use Kubernetes. So when we have to manage a bunch of containers and you want to uh, manage them in a better way, you want to automate a few of the things. We saw that when containers were running in Docker level and if containers were dying, we were not getting any update, no one was going and restarting the containers and all. So it's difficult if my application is running and uh, application is no more running once the container is dead. In that case, uh, I get a hit on my traffic or my uh, service of that particular application. To address those things, we have to automate few of the stuffs. Like if my container goes down, someone should be there who can restart the container, can be able to fix the stuffs. If I want to scale it automatically, it should be able to do that as well, right? So if we talk about Docker, it is defined to a single server deployment. So in production, in project, you can't live with a single server deployment. And inter-host communication of containers becomes mandate when we talk about several servers running containers and you want to deploy your application, you want to upgrade your application to a newer version, you want to scale your application in demand, then you have to work with auto healing type of say, what to say, auto healing means if one of the container goes down automatically, someone gets that, right? Heals the uh, application to the 
desired state which is expected so all these things you want to do and you want to have a good logging and monitoring support you should be able to monitor all the containers you should be able to log them in a better way then you want everything to be in a modular fashion right so for better management through modularity you use kubernetes and this is why we plan to use kubernetes because we need these features when we are talking about containers when we say on a single server i can rent 20 to 30 containers or 40 containers just imagine you have a set of five six nodes you would be in a uh, having a fleet of containers of more than 150 200 containers managing them managing the life cycle checking whether they are up or not checking whether they are serving the traffic or not checking if something went down came up or not logging them all those things become a tedious job right so tools like kubernetes helps us do all those things so kubernetes provides some set of building blocks which helps us manage maintain deploy scale those application if you want to edit anything in the running application you need not go ahead and redeploy the container yourself it will make sure the newer version get deployed then the older version gets killed blue green type of deployment canary type of deployment if i want to schedule a set of containers on a set of nodes which need a specific set of hardware you can intelligently place them because when we were confined on a single host you're asking to spin containers it will obviously spin up on the same host right we don't have a choice across nodes to be chosen but when we are talking about multiple hosts hosting the containers at that point in time you may have some set of choices that this particular container should run with the other container should be together with that other container or this a particular container should be placed on a specific node in that case scheduling algorithms comes into picture and it plays a wider role in that monitoring logging becomes very important because we are talking about bunch of containers it's not one or two so how do we monitor them how do we log them we get good tools to integrate with kubernetes inbuilt few stuffs are there which we can utilize from kubernetes and then make our cluster more manageable plus in docker level we didn't have that much of role-based control on what a person can do uh, with a set of containers what a person can't do with other set of containers those things comes into picture with uh, kubernetes you can have role-based access on the cluster which is our back is called as role-based access control so you can control who can do what on a cluster on the cluster level i should be uh, working as a viewer on the cluster level i have an editor permission on the cluster level i just have editor permission for the test environment i don't have editor permission for the dev environment all those things can be controlled on the kubernetes level uh, it provides those uh, options or type of resources using which we can attain all these things so that was a clip taken from one of the lessons from our step-by-step -step training program on docker and kubernetes for beginners including certifications CKA and CKS. I would like to invite you for a free masterclass on how to kickstart your journey in Docker and Kubernetes, right from learning basics, what is Docker, what is Kubernetes, and getting certified by using our step-by-step -step 12 weeks roadmap to go from complete beginner to certified Kubernetes administrator. If you are interested, register for a free class by going on to k21academy.com slash kubernetes02. Now, the next batch for the training is starting on 19th of January, so it's few days after the video gets published. And if you are watching this in future, I still highly recommend you going through this free class to see what to expect in the exam and learn basics on Docker and Kubernetes. So, k21academy.com slash kubernetes02. I will see you in another episode of Docker and Kubernetes from K21 Academy. Till then, take care.